as a 454. <laughs> hey, who did the work? Your dad or? No, we got it from my dad's friend Tom Sprague. Oh, what about this one? Uh, we got it. We got them both from him. Uh, they're nice cars. This one uh, has a lot of the originals. We just put the stripe kit on it just a little bit ago. Just what you see. Okay. It took about three years to do it, but we got it made. So what is it exactly? 38 Chevy. Okay. It's got a 350 engine in it. All original? Subframe and okay. Camaro rear end under it. Okay. Well, I redid the interior and the whole nine yards, but the body is basically original. I didn't chop it or nothing. It's pretty. I went through the suspension and the motor and stuff since then, just picking away at it, you know, making it better and better. Still got pretty much all the original paint on it, but it's spotted in here and there over time, but yeah. Huh. I haven't done, I haven't gone down and repainted re yet. It's still kind of up in the air. I got so many other projects all the time I can't keep up with. Right. Probably my grandson will have it too, won't you, Eli? Do you want to have that car someday? <laughs> of course. Go ahead. That's, you. Number th that's number 360 of a total of 588 built. It's, uh, it's a Studebaker Packard Corporation car. It's on a 57 Studebaker Golden Hawk body with a different trunk, a different hood, and a different nose piece. And other than that, it's a Studebaker. But it is a Packard. The last I heard, it was probably 100 of them registered. Okay. I had two of them and I took the parts I wanted off the other one and I sold it to a guy in Grand Rapids and he's restoring, he's got four now and he's restoring, restoring two out of the four. The difference between the Studebaker Golden Hawk and the Packard Hawk is Packard put gold mylar in the fins and the Studebaker painted theirs. And what about your Corvette? Well, that's just a old low horsepower, 270 horse, 350, 71, four speed. Uh, I haven't done anything to it, but done the body. Well, I've I've done everything but hop the motor up in it. All the body work, all the suspension, steering, brakes, rear end, we build everything in it. Pretty, <laughs> no doubt about it. This is a this is a different breed of cat here. Yeah. It looks like a '57 Chevy Bel Air. But it's on a Buick Roadmaster chassis with a Buick engine, uh, Cadillac seats. Uh, wow. <laughs> this is a buddy of mine. He's put a lot of work in it.